21-15-9 features a trio of barbell movements back to back with three gymnastic elements on the rig. Each set of movements build in complexity as the rep count decreases each round. The relatively simple deadlift leads to the slightly more technical power clean. And the clean leads to the snatch, the most technical of all barbell movements. Elements on the rig follow the same repetition scheme and format. Standard pull-ups are first, followed by chest-to-bar pull-ups. The finishing piece is the highly technical bar muscle-up. The sum of the reps from each round combine to equal one of CrossFit's trademark repetition schemes, 21-15-9. The fastest athlete to complete all the work and cross the finish line wins. You heard Rory mention it, the three-time defending champion in this heat, the third of four heats, he'll work out of lane number seven. And I, I guess I, I, my mind is blown as long with everybody else's. Rich Froney, we never see him in anything other than the top. He's had a rough Friday, a really tough Friday, but he needs to be, do something big in this event if he has any shot of getting back up to the top. Another man in this third heat, he was on the podium last year with Ten Rich Froney, seconds. that's Ben Smith. And Ben Smith, he's such a great all-around athlete, but I tell you what, you put a barbell in this guy's hands and he's deadly, so I'm expecting to see a really great event for him Ooh. in this one. The 21-15-9 complex is underway. The athletes with 155 pounds on that barbell open with eight deadlifts. They move on to seven power cleans and then six snatches. At the top of your screen, the movement the leader is currently on will have a blue box around it. The names of the participants will be underneath that. The leader will be highlighted in blue. The time to beat is four minutes, 41.97 seconds. That belongs to Travis Mayer. Now you think 155 pounds for these guys is not very heavy at all, especially with those deadlifts. But it's the way that it's being worked here. An easy move for 155 pounds, and we increase the difficulty, and then we end up in even more difficulty with the snap with the 155. Again, 155 is not difficult for these athletes, but it's how that 21-15-9 works so magically devious. Dan Bailey will be the first man moving on to the pull-up bar. Rich Froning is there as well in lane number seven, and in lane six, Kyle Casper Bauer. Ben Smith is also on the pull-up bar, and Ben Smith is currently in the lead, but just barely, as some of our top athletes are battling out for the lead in this third of four heats here. It's event number six here at the 2014 Reebok CrossFit Games, the 21-15-9 complex. Now we're going to see the majority of these, of these athletes breaking up the pull-up movement, whether it's the pull-up into the chest bar and into that bar muscle-up. That's a smart move because if you blow out here in the set of 21, you aren't, you're just going to be absolutely spent for your 15 to 9 when you really need to turn on the gas. So they need to be smart. They need to be very strategic about how they want to go through, come down when they want to rather than when they need to. The crowd coming to its feet as a three-time defending champion, Rich Froning, moves to the barbell for the 15 complex ahead of the men that are chasing him. Dan Bailey, Kyle Kasterbauer, and Kenneth Leverage all trying to chase down the champ right now, who is amongst the men fighting for the lead here, and Froning needs a big performance in this event. And classically, you don't see Rich jump out to the front, but after the, the devastating day that he's had today, he has to. We saw him very frustrated throughout the day, shaking his head multiple times. You can see he's actually attacking this workout, and that's something that we are used to see. He's so strong, he's such a pacing master, he doesn't need to do that, but now he's attacking. He needs to prove to himself and everyone else that he is the champ. All the athletes listed at the top of your screen are battling it out for that top spot. Dan Bailey currently has a couple rep lead over Kenneth Leverage, Kyle Kasterbauer, rookie Cole Sager out of the Northwest is there as well, and as is Rob Forte out of Australia. Dan Bailey moving to the pull-up bar, as is Rich Froning. Froning getting to work on his pull-ups. This is the set of 15 total reps on that pull-up bar. It starts with pull-ups. You just have to get your chin above that bar, any means necessary. And then on the chest of bar, pretty simple, touch your chest to the bar. And I think that he's being, I mean, all these athletes are being real smart. They know that all weekend, athletes have been tearing their hands on this bar, so they want to make sure that they aren't sitting on the bar too long, trying to rest as much on that grip as they can. Again, coming down when they want to rather than when they need to. Rich Froning is the first man onto the final set of barbell movements. He'll perform nine total movements. The time to beat, 441.97, belongs to Travis Mayer. And Rich Froning is assaulting that mark right now. This is the first time I've never seen Rich look around to see where the other athletes are. He's going into this, I mean, with true rec 
reckless abandon that we haven't seen him do before. He's not stopping or breaking or resting. He is attacking this workout. Brody is ahead of Kenneth Leverage. The scoreboard is behind Froning, as is the rest of the field, and Froning is back up to the pull-up bar. Nine total movements for the three-time defending champion. 100 points goes to the winner of this event, and those are 100 huge points for Rich Froning. That's exactly what he needs. That's exactly what he needs. Froning on the bar muscle-ups. One more to go. Dan Bailey and Kenneth Leverage battling for second, and the champ is back.